Hey guys, welcome back to Dad's Garage. Today I've got some gun stuff again. I know a lot of you guys uh, like my channel uh, with the gun stuff. Um, I hear about it all the time that they want to see more gun content. Well, today I'm going to bring you a little more gun content. I got a new one. So uh, this is a Rock Island Armory. This is a big, big gun. <laughs> All metal, very oily. Okay, I had to go for a towel. This thing's so oily. Get all this oil off of this thing. Holy smokes. They sure like the oil. So this is a model 52009. It is a 1911 or some would like to call it a 2011 because it is a double stack. This thing holds 16 rounds of 10 millimeter. So I've got some experience with these um, because a very good friend of mine who I shoot with quite a bit, you've seen him in some of the videos, uh, he has one of these. So I have shot it a couple of times and these things shoot so nicely. I just had to have one. I've been holding off for a long time. I kept telling myself, nah, nah, nah. You know, it's nothing that I'm going to carry on a daily basis. They're so freaking heavy. I mean, it's an all metal gun. They do have a mag well on them. Um, it's five inch barrel. Um, I mean, it's, it's a lot of gun. So probably not something most of us are going to carry from our waist, but uh, it is a heck of an accurate gun. Uh, first time I picked his up, we went out. We were shooting, and he had never shot it before either, and he shot it, and he was just so amazed with how good it shot. He says, hey, come on over here, shoot, the, try this thing out, and I thought, okay, you know, so I give it a shot, and I mean, the grouping, the very first time out, the grouping was probably two and a half, three inches with uh, every shot from the magazine, so um, I was so impressed with how well it shot that uh, it was kind of, it's been on my radar for probably four or five months anyway. But uh, finally came to the point where I wanted one, um, or well, came to the point where I was going to actually buy one, and uh, then all of a sudden I can't find one at a gun store anywhere. Prior to that, I'd seen them quite regularly. So um, the price on these things, um, I think retail on them is in the eights. Um, I've seen some people pay eight for them. Uh, my buddy John actually paid eight something for his. Um, but I was able to snag this the other day, brand new from a gun store out of Florida on grab a gun for 638 bucks. So, um, you know, with shipping tax, you know, transfer everything, you know, we're talking about 700 bucks. So a uh, pretty solid deal on it. Um, these things do have a fiber optic front sight, white sights in the back. Um, just absolutely a, just spot on when you shoot them. Uh, built like typically you would expect a 1911 to be built, uh, but with the double stack. So again, these will hold 16 rounds of 10 millimeter. Um, Rock Island, if you don't know, they, they make a fantastic gun. Um, they're kind of overlooked sometimes because uh, it's not super mainstream here in the United States. Rock, Rock Island isn't. Rock Island isn't. It, uh, but... Uh, these guns are made in the Philippines for law enforcement. Um, they're, they're really good quality. Every one I've ever shot and every one I've ever seen has been just uh, an excellent firearm. Um, my buddy John, he has never had any kind of misfeed, misfire, anything out of his. Um, I have ammo coming for this on Monday. So next week we're going to get it out to the range and I will continue this video at that time with some footage from the range with the Rock Island 52009 double stack 1911 or 2011 if you prefer. 
So we will catch up with you here in just a couple of days once we get that ammo in, uh, and we will get back on it at the range. We'll be back. All right, one thing before I get back to you guys at the range that I forgot to tell you that I thought was kind of cool, one thing that they include with these guns is a couple of shells that they had test fired and a certificate all autographed on who tested it, what date, and all that. So I think that's kind of cool. That's kind of an old school thing. Uh, um, years ago, from what I understand, most guns would have this with it to show who had test fired it and all that stuff. So uh, that's one thing that these guys still do with Rock Island. So I thought that was kind of a nifty little thing. So we'll catch up with you here in a couple of days at the gun range. All right, we made it out here to the range. Gonna give this Rock Island 10 millimeter its first shooting. And we're gonna run the FN also. Let's see how this Rock Island does. We got our target down there. We got Big Todd, That's what they call this target. It's just not completely loading the bullet into the barrel. It's supposed to stop about a quarter of fully feeding.
now let's do some work with the FM. All right, so that was our day at the range. Uh, FN shot beautifully as always. The uh, Rock Island had a few issues with feeding. Um, I don't know if a little more shooting will fix that, clean that up, or if I'm gonna need a gunsmith to take a peek at it, see what might be going on. But right now it's not 100% reliable, that's sure, but it, does, it sure does shoot well when you shoot it. It is pretty hard on the hand. It's a big old hunk of metal with a lot of power behind it. so. Um, like it. Love my FN though. Thanks for joining us today. We'll catch you next time right here on Dad's Garage.